what what is your vision for your career? What do you, what do you see happening? What do you want to happen? Well, you know, right now I'm in a really good company. I have a really I'm surrounded by very fantastic people, really go getters. Um, now I don't want to give out too information, but you know, just to say that um, <clears throat> we work in a place where they don't expect a whole lot from you, but everyone like in the street you, you gotta be a go getter. If you plan on being in the trade for the rest of your life, you you have to move. You have to keep working and expanding and learning. You know, it's really I, I've seen people that, you know, you, you just know who's gonna make it, who's not. Some people could flow on the radar, but that only goes for so long. <clears throat> Luckily for me though, I'm like legitimately surrounded by like these very Top tier, well rounded mechanics. So I'm just been very fortunate because uh, right now I do uh, commercial HVAC. Am I? I've been in the trade for six years now, and uh, I've done residential. So, you know, that was some legwork there. You know. Oh yeah, I know that very well. But uh, so the reason why I called you is because so then, you know I'm reading this book and everything. Um, and this ain't like I'm in school. It's I'm reading this fifteen hundred dollar page book. I'm reading the mechanical code book, and basically, I I think a great success of mine when I was in school was, you know, reading that book every night and taking practice tests. But for some reason, I just can't find like a good program or something like to take these practice tests so why do you take the dreaming test i just pass with flying colors with no hiccup you know what i mean i, so I just didn't mean. know if you knew something like that okay so uh, journeyman in maryland may may be something different than journeyman in north carolina uh once upon a time it was uh 1990 i don't know seven or eight or something like that and i was going to get uh my journeyman uh there's like a j1 and j2 as i recall i don't know what it is now but we went through a course. We, we actually went out to the local community college and took a course to get well-versed to, to be able to take that test. And mm -hmm. that's what I did back then. That was before there was any internet resources. Of course, now you can go to YouTube and look at stuff. But for something specific, like you want to have a journeyman criteria, uh, is, mm -hmm. is there not something you can do similar to that where you can go in and take evening courses? That's what it was for me. I mean, we'd work in the yeah, field so, and then go so take I evening courses. I did course. see that. Um... Yeah, I could definitely do the process of that. I just, uh, well, I just finally kind of like said roots at my current company right now. And, they, you know, the owner is like, hey, man, I'll take you to school. That's not a big deal. But I think I was just, you know, there's, it's a lot. You know, there's a lot to the shop. I, you, know, you know, I'm just going to say, you know, it's a government job. So there's like a lot of inner workings, a lot of elements. You, you. you can't just be as easy as flip a switch. You know what I mean? I got you. You don't think a night course is going to work out for what you're doing as far as. Um, I know. I, I know. Any help is good help. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, that's definitely plausible. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of looking taking this test within the next uh, month or so. Now, the interesting thing is because I don't, I don't know what the criteria is for a journeyman in your state. I, I don't know what they give you. Did, did, will they give you something like a guide or a book specifically written for journeyman studying? You know, I've been uh, attempted. Actually, I got to renew my apprenticeship license. It's due here pretty soon. But um, yeah, no, I've uh, I've actually contemplated calling them. But I figured, you know, I'm reading this book, reading it. You know, I'm on the boiler section now. Like, okay, yeah, you know, nothing shorter than a quarter. Yeah, I get electrodes or whatever. And I, I guess I guess you kind of say I'm looking for, for to find something that challenged me, so I know I'm good. Type of deal. Well, okay. So. Uh, something I'm thinking about now. Whenever I think about being a journeyman or anything like that, like a license holder, when you're going to take an exam or something, I'm thinking about all the different aspects of the test, not just technical items, but also things right. they're going to ask you about the code, which will be different from place to place. Although there's a basic code that covers everybody, there's differences from place to place. So as far as technical stuff, I mean. There's all sorts of things you can do. Of course, there's podcasts out there. You know, you're talking to one of them right now. And then there's, uh, I used to use the the online Nate exam for when I did like skilled trade up stuff where we'd, we'd come in and bring guys on the show and give away tools and ask them those questions. 
I mean, that's mm -hmm. a pretty good resource. And then you can look up whatever you want to study. Like you want to study boiler stuff. You want to study just hydronics in general. You want to do heat pumps. You can study all sorts of things specifically. So that was very helpful. And of course, there's also you know, just Nate. If you have my, books. Uh, sorry, give me, I'm a, I'm my way to grab a paper pen. Go ahead. Continue. No, that's what I'm saying. That's that's something that, uh, and geez, I wish I could remember. It's been so long, it's not going to pop up when I type it into the Google screen. But um, anything like that. I mean, we we have shows, skilled trade up shows that go back a couple of years where I ask questions uh, of guys that you know might be on this sort of test. Um, mm -hmm. I think Brian Orr's done a few podcasts for HVAC school where he's done something like that where he's asked questions and gone over some of the criteria. See, the thing is, I don't know if it's going to be specific for what you need, where you're at, but I, th I think in general, it'll make you better just going through the questions and the different criteria, just like watching people do service calls on YouTube. The only thing is you're yeah. not guaranteed they're doing everything correctly, uh, right. which is just the danger of it, which doesn't take away from the fact that it's just kind of fun to watch them. And a lot of the guys are really, really smart, but there may be certain things that aren't quite right. And there's no one there to say, oh, this is wrong. Don't listen to this part, but listen to this other part. And I, I'm guilty right. of that too. So, I mean, you can use all those things. And that's a free resource, which is nice. And the online aid exam is free. So you want to buy anything. 